Welcome to Inside the Paint, an inside look into all of the action of the British Basketball League. We've made it to the final week of the regular season, so make sure to like, share and subscribe so you don't miss any of the actions. I'm Jeanette Kouachi and I'm joined by former London Lion, Obi Soko, and head coach of the Leicester Riders, Rob Paternostro. And it's this time of the season, OK, where we start to decide who should be taking home the MVP Player of the Year. Now, Coach Rob, no pressure. OK, you've got to think about this now. Who do you think deserves this award? Ooh, tough question. Uh, I'll give you three candidates. How about that? Uh, Matt Morgan, mm -hmm. um, Aaron Rye mm -hmm. from Cheshire, and uh, Gabe Olasheni from London. I think those three are at the top of the list. OK, and I'm going to give you for coach of the year, Obi. What do you think? Coach of the year, I've got two candidates. Now, Bozic, obviously, he's... Um, I think he's had the best team, uh, but for me, it's between... Gareth, Murray, uh, and Ben. Mm -hmm. um, and i got to go with Gareth. If I had to pick one, I would say Gareth, just because I feel like the coaching element of it, um, Cheshire have a very free-flowing system, yeah. which I think allows for the players of the the talent of the players to shine through. Yeah, it's diff it's a difficult conversation to have because I guess the playoffs are still yet to come. And that's where you really get to see who's about it, right? So this might change in a couple of weeks, but we want to know what you think. So let us know who you think should take home all the awards in the comments below. But round 28 is officially underway as this Thursday night, the London Lions hosted the Surrey Scorchers. Let's take a look at what happened in that game. So a game that held high stakes for Surrey than it did for London, and it showed in the first quarter. Surrey, they adopted a three-point strategy that kept the scoreline close as London attacked the rim aggressively, maybe showing what was to come. Matt Morgan and Tariq Phillip proving to be a force to be reckoned with, but Surrey desperate to make sure they weren't to face the champions in the first round of the playoffs. But the pace and the wily energy of Morgan was unmatched as London continued to stretch their lead against a young, inexperienced Surrey squad that often showed the Lions a bit too much respect. It finished in favour of the Lions. And 24 points for this man, the player of the game, Matt Morgan. What a game he had. And look at the celebrations there. You can see just how much it means to him. And what do you think of someone like Matt Morgan, especially in this position where, you know, they've won the league, didn't do maybe what they wanted to do in Europe, but they're still here in it. Really tough going for the playoffs. Yeah, I, they're excited to go for the playoffs. Remember, they lost that trophy final. So I think um, they got something to prove here going into the playoffs. And with a guy like Morgan, he's ready to show what his talents are all about. From start to finish this season, he's been impressive. Expect him to have a great playoff run. Yeah, and I guess a word on Surrey as well, because I know, over you've been championing them, them this, this season, haven't you? And it was difficult for them because there's been an illness that's gone round the squad this, this, this week, but they had these young players and it was an opportunity for them. It was a big-time opportunity. Anytime you get to come up against the talent um, that London possesses and obviously on the stage with the playoffs right around the corner, with how they started the season, the ups and downs, um, it's an absolutely massive opportunity. And I think they've really done a great job. I think they grasped it as well as they could have. Um, obviously, win would have been great, but... Um, I think they've done well moving towards the playoffs and preparing for that match. Yeah, they should be happy, proud of that performance. I mean, week 28, guys, can you believe it? The final week of the regular season, I can't believe it. Let's look at the remaining games that we have on this weekend. You can see them there. My goodness, three games for you on Friday, all from half past seven and 7.45, the Newcastle Eagles and the Cheshire Phoenix, Bristol Flyers and Caledonia Gladiators, and then Coach Rob's Leicester Riders take on the Manchester Giants. On Saturday, double header for you, the Manchester Giants back to back. They go against the Newcastle Eagles and the Sheffield Sharks take on the Plymouth City Patriots. And then the Surrey Scorchers take on the Leicester Riders. Coach Rob's been doing his scout report. And then Cheshire Phoenix against the London Lions to finish off your weekend at six o'clock. But let's have a look at what that does to the standings. Well, Surrey Scorchers, they now confirm eighth place in the league. Of course, London Lions with that top spot. They will face off against each other in the first round of the playoffs. All of those positions in between are still yet to be decided. Good luck working that out. If you want to know, you can head over to the British Basketball League website. We break it down for you. You still might be confused, but we're trying. 
We are trying. On Friday, like we say, three games will be tipping off. The Bristol Flyers will be hosting the Caledonia Gladiators as both teams will be hoping to firm up their position in the league standings. So next, the Manchester Giants will travel to face Rob's Leicester Riders for the final time this season. But first, the Newcastle Eagles will host the Cheshire Phoenix and we're joined by a wonderful commentary team of Todd Harris and Azania Stewart. And Z, Newcastle, they've had some disappointing results recently, haven't they? How important would it be for, the, for them to win this one? Well, first of all, uh, Jeanette, how does uh, Rob Paternos not uh, Nostro just not slap Ovi over the head and say, hey, what about me, coach of the year? He was the one who brought Teddy Buckets to us. Yeah. But anyway, your question. Yes, Newcastle are in a bit of a weird space. They've lost uh, their last three games out of the fourth um, and they're in a bit of a struggle place. And right now, everyone's playing their best basketball. And then to go and play uh, Cheshire Phoenix, yeah. that's a lot. And, and I'm just not sure about them right now because... They're a bit on the edge. You think about what Newcastle has on the line, but what about Cheshire? They're going to make that trip to Newcastle and take them on. The Eagles uh, looking for their mojo. And then Cheshire has to come back on Sunday and, and face London. off with the London Lions. So what's their motivation? How do they handle these last two? Yeah, and I think it's important. What I love and what's making it so juicy about this last week, uh, Jeanette, is that there's still so much to play for. Cheshire's trying to beat Al Caledonia for that second spot. The Riders, the Sharks and the Eagles are all trying to fight for that fourth. It, it it's all a madness and all to play for. I'm a little bit worried about Newcastle, uh, Jeanette. I'm not sure they have the answers right now. And I'm a little bit worried about Ovi Soko if Coach Rob <laughs> decides to slap him for not giving him some love. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, there's no violence in my studio. It's all love. But thank you, as always, to Todd and to Z. On Saturday, two more games coming your way. To start off the weekend, the Manchester Giants will play their final game of the season when they host the Newcastle Eagles, following which the Sheffield Sharks will host the Plymouth City Patriots for the Patriots' final game of the season. Now, Rob, your team is neck and neck with Sheffield, right? In the league table, fourth and fifth, facing up against each other here. How important is the difference in that positioning? Yeah, huge. Obviously, you know, you get that extra home game if needed in a best of three series. And so you want to have that higher seed and you also want to have that higher seed for if you advance to the second round, you may avoid the top seed, which obviously is the London Lions. And if you want to play the London Lions, you don't want them in the best of three. You'd rather get them in a one game. So finishing higher is good to be a home game, but also to have that higher seed for the second round. And Ovi, how important is home court advantage, advantage in this instance? Home court advantage is huge. You know, you're looking for any little detail, any small advantage. Um, that you can really find in the playoffs, whether it be a matchup, whether it be home court um, advantage, whatever the case is on the day, it's really just a matter of uh, getting the job done at the end of the day. Do you think it comes with more pressure, Coach Rob? Because I know that your next game coming up is, is sold out, right? And your players want to put something on for the fans, don't they? I don't think there's more pressure at home. I think you're comfortable at home. I think especially when you practice on that floor every day, you want to be there. And then the lack of travel is always good because at this point in the season, all the teams have been traveling up and down the country. So the less travel, the better. So I think everyone wants to have more games at home. It's true. You just wrap your players in cotton wool, a bit of bubble wrap. I don't know, spots. man. No? I don't know if that home court, <laughs> they, you know, it doesn't always work like that. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is it doesn't really? always work like that. Because some work. some guys, you know, yeah. I, I've been when I played in Spain, it was it was a weird thing, but we felt more pressure playing at home just right. because of the way the fan base was. You know, so home court advantage it can work yeah. wonders and it can give you the home court advantage, or it could just make you feel the pressure. Make a little bit of pressure. I, f I feel like, you know, the pressure doesn't do very well with Ovi there, Coach Rob. I don't know. The answer just kind of gave me that impression. <laughs> we'll take a home <laughs> game. Though. We'll take a couple home games. We'll be fine with that. Our fans are fantastic. In I love being the villain. <laughs> That's what it is. To finish off the regular season, we have two final games on Sunday. And to start the day, Rob's Leicester riders will face the, will travel to face the Surrey Scorchers. We're just talking about the travelling there. And following which, the Cheshire Phoenix will host the London Lions for the final game of the championship. And after 28 weeks, it's coming to an end. Ovi and Rob, oh my goodness. How do you reflect on this season, Ovi? Oh, let me tell you, coach, <laughs> I gotta thank you. Thank you. You brought us <laughs> the one and the only. <laughs> you brought us Teddy Buckets, man. You know, that was one of the moments. I kid you not. It's not only because coach is here. Um, everyone who was on board or in the studio that day, it was very, very entertaining. Yeah. The anticipation, the build up, and then the delivery. You yeah. know, I spoke to Coach about him the week before. I don't even know if Coach expected, 
you know, sort of what played out and what we saw. And then on top of that, the trophy, um, the, the trophy was amazing. Yeah. I think the the, the All-Star game was incredible. Uh, just everything. And then being here in the studio, it's been fun. The journey. Mm -hmm. um, this is a rebrand of, of something that I feel like is very special. Yeah, really, really special. And I guess, you know, you mentioned Teddy Buckets. I was in the studio with you that day. I think I texted you, Coach Rob, straight after. I said, oh, my goodness. Like, <laughs> but it's exciting, isn't it, when this talent comes to the league and you can see you've been around the league for years. You know exactly what that kind of talent brings and what it can do. Yeah, I mean, the talent in the league this year has been exciting to watch up and down the country. I think that when you look at all the teams there was a lot of firepower, so the games were exciting. But the other thing is being involved with the studio here, with the team down here, not just on air, off air. Mm -hmm. It really felt like a, a, a team, and I've been very proud to be a part of it. And um, we look forward to doing more great things. Well, I've loved having you both with me in the studio. We're looking forward to those playoffs as Jeanette well. Jeanette is an all-star, by the way. I've got to cut her off. I have to cut her off. You know, she doesn't get her flowers. And guys at home, she does an you. awesome MVP. job. Thank you it. so, so much. Thank you. I appreciate you. But that's all from us this week. Please do drop us a comment below letting us know what games you'll be watching. And make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the unbeatable action from the British Basketball League. But for now, it's goodbye.